Hello all, today I'll be showing you how macOS Big Sur runs on my late 2012 Mac Mini. Now I got onto Big Sur by using um, uh, Ben Sova's uh, Big Sur patcher, and it works pretty good. And there's one thing I'd like to say before we do start, uh, my allergies have been really bad, so if I sound like, you know, like, I don't know, if I sound weird, that's why. So, yeah. So... I do have, uh, if you were wondering if you could install, if you could have Catalina and Big Sur on the same drive, that has worked for me. I made a partition, a 64 gig partition with Big Sur on it because I didn't want to use a whole lot of storage on it. And then like the rest is like a 190 gig partition for Catalina because I'll still be using Catalina a lot. Just Big Sur is something I can mess around with until I get 8 gigs of RAM and then I'm going to put Big Sur on here full time. So... Let me get the stopwatch ready, <laughs> and we can uh, we can do this. So I'm gonna hold power this on by holding hold down options so I can boot into that partition. I have Catalina as my startup disk, so I do kind of have to do this every time I want to go into Big Sur. And I'll be doing this boot up in real time because it's. It may boot up a little bit slower than Catalina, but if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, it will probably work fine. I only have 4 gigs, so it's of course it's going to run a little bit slower, but, you know, it works. <laughs> so, let me get this timer ready. So... Clear. Okay. I would try to have both of the... There, now it's working. I thought I couldn't get both of them in focus at the same time. Alright. Now, I don't think that is... I don't think it booted that fast. But I maybe it did. Just my monitor likes to be stupid. And uh, shut off whenever the computer fully turns on for some reason. This probably isn't a big sur thing, but it's just my monitor. So that time was about 16 seconds when my monitor shut it off, so I'm guessing that is when it booted. <laughs> so uh, let me show you my specs real quick. So I believe we're good. So let's open patch sir. And about this Mac. So, you can see here, I have the 24 Mac Mini, also known as the Mac Mini 6,1, with an Intel Core i5, 2.5 GHz, Intel HD Graphics 4000, and the worst thing out of, like, all the specs is my 4 gigabytes of RAM. But, even with 4 gigs, Big Sur seems to run fine, surprisingly. So, you can see we're uh, all set here, everything's working. There, that took a second. But you can see, uh, this is, oh, I need to zoom out right here. Uh, you can see this is working. It's like the widgets on iOS 14 looks almost exactly the same. But it runs pretty good. Let me try Siri. So as you can see, that works, too. And Control Center. I can't do the display brightness because my monitor's old and, like, doesn't support that. But whatever. And see the scroller works and uh, you may be interested to know I thought that airdrop wouldn't work but airdrop is actually supported on this Mac mini I was surprised to see that because I put my mother's uh, 2010 MacBook on Catalina with the DOS dude patcher and airdrop didn't work anymore but Big Sur airdrop still works so if that's like uh, you know, you really rely on AirDrop and you use a Mac Mini or whatever Mac you're going to put on Big Sur, it'll still work fine. In terms of bugs, I don't think... I'm, I haven't ran any, into any bugs myself, and I haven't really seen any, but when it comes to updating macOS, you really need to be careful because uh, I, I, I would suggest uh, going to the, uh, the Big Sur patch or subreddit on Reddit and uh, if you run into any problems trying to update, which you probably won't, but if you do, uh, the creator is actually on that, and he'll help you fix it. So, 
or at least he'll comment, I don't know. But, let's try some app loading speeds here. So, system preferences, first try. Let's try the app store. Basically, still pretty fast. And keep in mind, 4 gigabytes of RAM, not, not running that fast, but if you have 8 gigs on the same machine that I have, it will work fine. Forgot to mention, I actually do have a 256 gig SSD, so that is probably also helping a lot. So podcast is taking a little bit longer to load. So I'll just give that a second. But most apps, excluding podcast, decided to be this the stinky outlier. Uh, most apps open within like the first or second bounce. You know, or the third bounce, maybe. But everything seems to work fine. I think podcast is, yeah, it's just not responding. That's why it's not opening. But it it works great. Um, let me, like, try some navigating around here. You can see applications. I don't have anything on my desktop, so nothing's going to show up. But music, applications. You can see everything works good. My uh, ma uh, Catalina Drive shows up on here, surprisingly. If I go to like disk disk management, where is that disk utility? Was on Windows mode there for a second. Which you can see here is my Big Sur. I don't, yeah, that's my Big Sur drive here. Which is I think this is mounted, but here's my Catalina and here's my Big Sur. Works great. Um, let me try doing some web browsing. So as you, you know, it loads up pretty fast for it being, um, here, I'll do that later. It loads up pretty fast for it being an unsupported Mac. So, yeah, let's, as you can see, it, it, this is also actually going to depend on your internet speed. And, uh, mine is okay, I guess, and you can see it loaded pretty fast I guess but uh, let's try loading up the this video right here I hope I don't get like copyright striked but y y you can see this all works very good let me go into full screen even okay that's probably as much as I can play but you can see it, it runs fine uh, Let's try some 4K test footage. And I, I, this thing wasn't able to run 4K in Catalina, so like I doubt it's going to be able to run 4K now, but let's just try it. With the 4 gigabytes of RAM, is definitely going to put a bottleneck on that, trying to run 4K. But we'll uh, give this a second to load. Will it work? Stats. Ooh, yeah. Now you now it's lagging. Yeah, not a very good experience. But uh, you know it works fine. So, well, uh, that is about it when it comes to speed and stuff. It runs pretty good. Uh, if you have any questions, comments. Leave them in the comments section below. I'll I'll answer them. I try to answer all of them. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, yeah, everything works good. So I guess that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.